So when did you first start making music? Um, I've always been playing in bands since I was like 12 years old, but um, just recently, I think in October, is when I actually became like a solo artist. So I was like, I just parted away from my old band, and I was like, I went through a period of, should I do music anymore or not? And then like randomly, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try doing it by myself. If I fail, that's my last shot. And so far, it's been pretty rad. What were some of your musical influences growing up? Uh, definitely Journey, because my mom's favorite band is Journey. Eagles, because that's my dad's favorite. John Mayer and Christian Rock. That's what I grew up on. I was a cat schoolboy. Who are some of your musical influences now? Uh, Justin Bieber. Not kidding. I have like 60, 60 songs on my phone of his. Um, those one dude who sing, What Does the Fox Say? They are my idols. Um, Beyonce, because that ass don't quit. Um, meth, big inspiration. And pizza. That was pretty diverse. I like that one, right? Pizza. Yeah. Okay. What was the first show you performed as a solo artist? Um, as a solo artist, I played in January in my hometown with the singer of Run Kid Run. And it was right after I got off the Pub Fresh tour when I was playing guitar for a band called Jocelyn from Iowa City. And so it was really rad because it was like my first solo show ever and I was super nervous about it. And it ended up being like 150 kids for me. And I was actually blown away. And I had like that kind of support in my hometown. What's been your favorite show that you've done so far? I've only played two. <laughs> I've been uh, I've been really busy like recording my album and uh, pushing my first single to radio, but I haven't really had much time to play uh, shows. But I think I played a show in March at oh, the Wire Coffee House in my hometown, and it was like the first local show I'd ever headlined. And it was just a dance party, and I played Stacy's Mom, and just everyone got buzzed as fuck, and I was pretty happy. No, I'm pretty sure you're doing acoustic tonight. Yeah. How is that different from the full band? Uh, believe it or not, as like as poppy and electronic as all my music is, I write everything first on acoustic, and it always takes on different vibes when I, you know, play acoustic to when I play it full band. Uh, I'm gonna be playing a song tonight called Mr. Unforgettable, and it actually has like three or four different versions of it because there's the acoustic version, there was a rock band version, and now there's like a pop version. To me, like acoustic lets me be like super intimate, and if it messes up, it messes up. You just keep going. It's like super organic, and it's a lot more fun. So it's a lot more stripped down. I think it's different that way. How is it different from being in a band to being solo now? Um, it's a hell of a whole lot more stressful. I'll be honest. That shit sucks. Like I'm so used to being able to like to fall back on like four other members that are different. Hey. Uh, I'm so used to falling back on like four other members to like help with like writing or help financially or something like that. Uh, and so it's like really stressful when you're actually doing like the business side of it. But I think it's a lot different and a lot better because I get to make that one-on-one -on -one connection with a lot of my fans and it's 100% me and they know where to go and they know what to say because I always say that if you need someone to talk to, I have like... I think I counted them yesterday, I had like 13 social media apps that you can talk to me on. So that way, if anyone needs anything at any time, they have someone to talk to. So I have like that, it's a lot more personal now that I'm solo than I ever was in a band, and I want to trade that for the world. I know you just released a single, have you gotten the response you hoped for? Uh, the response I hoped for is actually, was just like people being like, oh, this is a good song. But I think the song's been out for three weeks now, and it's taken on a completely different life of its own. Uh, on my home, in my hometown, it's played on Top 40 radio now, and you can request it, or you can request the song nationally on like 106.1 Kiss FM. And I never thought that I would be able to do that. Uh, it's just, it's actually kind of nuts because this whole week I've been doing like a, it's called Kiss It or Diss It, where like they say, hey, these songs are about to cra uh, crack the charts. Which song do you like better? And so far I've beaten out like Will I Am, Chris Lawrence, Coldplay, and like I'm about to beat Nicki Minaj. Like to me it's just crazy to see uh, myself releasing a song and after three weeks beating like 
Will I Am and Nicki Minaj, like these international touring artists, and that people are like grasping on the song that way. Is there anyone at the fest that you're excited to see before? Uh, Conquerors. Like, believe it or not, I'm super into like metal still. And my friend Ty is actually the new drummer for Conquerors, and I'm super stoked on them. Um, hopefully I'll see Rosedale today. I don't, I can't remember like the schedule today, but there's a lot of bands that I'm friends with here in Indy that I'm just like, I really want to see. And plus it's a rap festival, so I think I'm just going to like stage hop all day and find bands I don't even know who they are and just stay and watch, because that's how you find out.